It's Thursday. Phil Lindemann with your Crystal 93 News at Noon. The United States suffered its first avalanche fatality of the season yesterday. One person was killed and three others were injured by an inbound slide at Palisades Tahoe. By this time last year, four people had been killed in Colorado alone. Colorado avalanche forecasters are warning of the first truly dangerous storm cycle in weeks. The avalanche danger is considerable across the region. A special avalanche advisory is in effect for all mountainous areas of Colorado. New snow and winds through the holiday weekend will increase the avalanche danger statewide. That avalanche advisory is good through Sunday. Conditions will get worse. The most dangerous slopes face an easterly direction and are located directly below ridgetop. Avoid traveling on or below these dangerous slopes. Their advice? Know the conditions, know the terrain, and if you are not 100% comfortable, keep it low elevation and low angle all weekend. You can brush up on avalanche safety and sip fine bourbon this Saturday at Warren Station in Keystone, hear from CMC Avi instructors and Keystone Ski Patrol, and then meet a few Avi dogs. Again, that's Warren Station this Saturday in Keystone. Tonight in Silverthorne, learn more about upcoming restoration on the Blue River below Dillon Dam. Vanessa Lodgen at Blue River Watershed Group says 60 years of development has flattened the river and made it unwelcoming for fish. We know that water is not coming back, so we need to make the stream fit the water that we're actually getting now. Learn more tonight, 5.30 at Silverthorne Pavilion. A Breckenridge contractor, Justin Ord, will likely face a jury on charges of swindling clients out of cash. Ord is in court this March for pretrial conference. He's accused of stealing nearly $200,000 for work he never did. Another drug bust on I-70 in Gypsum. Local authorities seized nearly three pounds of fentanyl pills. In custody are a woman from Arizona and a man from California, both in their early 20s. Reports of road rage are improving statewide, but aggressive driving is still the most common call for state patrol. State patrol took nearly 30,000 calls from drivers last year. That's down from 2022. More than half were for road rage. Your walk back from the Mintern Mile is about to get easier. Vail Daily reports that Mintern is getting state cash for a sidewalk. It crosses the railroad tracks just north of Main Street. Backcountry users will love it, but so will all the residents living in new apartments back there. In local entertainment news, back on screen for one more night at the Eclipse in Breck, it's the Color Purple musical. The Color Purple shows at 4 and 7 tonight at the Eclipse Theater in downtown Breck. In sports, the Avalanche beat the Golden Knights last night 3 to nothing. The Nuggets lost to the Jazz 124 to 111. Team USA's Ryan Cochran Siegel was sixth today at men's downhill in Switzerland. Swiss powerhouse Marco Ottermatt got the win. Three Italians were the fastest on course at women's downhill training in Austria. Jacqueline Wiles was top American in 12th. And in local sports, brought to you by Cassandra Schultz & Associates with American Family in Dillon. The Breckenridge Vipers are playing the Reno Ice Raiders this weekend. Tomorrow, game time 7.30. Saturday, it's 8. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.